Hi everybody, welcome back to Math Max Tutorial. Today we have seen JWE main type questions and today given integral is integration d theta divided by cos square theta in bracket tan 2 theta plus sec 2 theta is equal to lambda tan theta plus 2 times ln f of theta mod complete plus c is a constant of integration. Then here we can find the value of lambda and f of theta. If you want the simple solution to watch video till at the and if you like this video and like share and subscribe my channel okay let's do start the most solution yes okay first uh, given integration let's i is equal to integration at d theta upon this is cos x square theta in bracket tan 2 theta plus this is the sec 2 theta bracket complete and we know that all related formula for this 1 by cos square theta that's mean this is the sec square theta and this is the d theta and divided by this is tan 2 theta plus sec 2 theta. Now I can the denominator part simplify this term separately and we can write as tan 2 theta plus this is sec 2 theta is equal to we know that tan 2 theta is equal to sin 2 theta and divided by cos 2 theta plus we know that sec 2 theta is equal to 1 by cos 2 theta therefore we get here 1 plus sin 2 theta and divided by cos 2 theta and we know that all related formula for this term is equal to sin 2 theta is equal to we know that the double angle formula 2 sin theta into cos theta and one here I can use the in terms of sin theta and cos theta here use the identity that means here can use one as cos square theta plus sin square theta and also we know that cos 2 theta is a related formula for this cos square theta minus sin square theta. Therefore, this term we can simplify as is equal to 1 that means this is cos square theta plus sin square theta plus this is 2 times sin theta into cos theta and divide by whole throughout cos 2 theta is equal to the system becomes cos square theta minus sin square theta and we know that these are formula related for cos theta plus sin theta bracket square and divided by we can find the separate two value okay this is like x square minus b square that's when we get here a plus b and a minus b therefore we can write here cos theta this is plus sin theta and here second factor is cos theta minus sin theta. Now you can observe here cos theta plus sin theta this one term get cancelled and here one remaining term that means we get here cos theta plus sin theta and divide by we get sin cos theta minus sin theta and this terms uh, we can here uh, numerator and denominator divide by throughout cos theta and therefore we get here 1 plus this is term given tan theta and 1 minus we get here tan theta okay and this is the simplification of this term that means this is tan 2 theta and plus sec 2 theta yes got it now move this, uh, this value tan 2 theta plus sec 2 theta put in the equation suppose 1 therefore put in equation 1 then equation then equation 1 becomes then equation 1 becomes we can write here the simplification term or the <coughs> now equation 1 becomes we can write integration sec square theta d theta and divided by tan 2 theta plus sec 2 theta that means this is the 1 plus tan theta and divided by 1 minus tan theta yes okay now uh, we move the solution and this term can I can vanish here okay and this integration becomes we can write integration and these terms we uh, write in the numerator yes okay 1 minus tan theta and this is divided by 1 plus tan theta bracket complete into sec square theta 
and d theta. Now we can here put the substitution method. Yes, okay, uh, because derivative of tan theta is equal to sec square theta in this uh, integral in present. Yes, okay. Therefore, here we can substitute. Here we can substitute t is equal to suppose tan theta and we get here dt is equal to sec square theta and d theta. Therefore, this integration becomes we can write as 1 minus t divided by 1 plus t and this is the dt. Okay. Now, we can find the integral and this term 1 minus t we can arrange as uh, suppose this is minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 and this is minus t and we can write as this term minus 1 minus t plus 2 that is mean we get minus 1 1 plus t and plus 2 okay and therefore this integration we can write as this is minus 1 plus t plus 2 and divided by this is 1 plus t and dt okay and now we can move the solution and we get here observe this is the integration this term minus okay that means we can write as minus 1 this is plus 2 and divided by this is 1 plus t and dt and we can now find the separate integration okay therefore uh, integration this is minus 1 dt this is plus 2 is the constant integration 1 by t and this is the dt and we know that integration of minus 1 that means this is minus t and plus 2 this is we get ln and this is the 1 plus t and plus c is a constant of integration okay and now back put now back put t is equal to original value put t is equal to tan x uh, sorry tan theta yes okay therefore i is equal to we get this is minus tan theta plus 2 times this is ln that means this is 1 plus tan theta and plus c is a constant of integration yes okay and this is my final solution but here we can find the value for the lambda and f of theta now we can observe this uh, solution and this solution then we get here lambda is equal to minus 1 okay and we get f of theta that means this is the value 1 plus tan theta yes okay and this is the solution for this integration lambda is equal to we get minus 1 and f of theta is equal to 1 plus tan theta if you like this solution then please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching bye bye